Hello and welcome guys. So in today's tutorial, I will show you guys a basic way of doing um, an NPC dialogue system. Now I did try um, a lot of other techniques using blueprints and but um, anything else I use would make for a really long video. So I wanted to show you something small which works. It's not the most efficient way but it works at a good and steady rate. So let's get started. So for this uh, we need to have um, two basic things. One, we need a blueprint actor class, which as you guys can see I have down here. And the second thing we need is a widget blueprint. So now I'm just going to make a new folder in here and we'll do that in here. So inside here, first thing we'll do is we'll make a blueprint class and we'll choose actor. And this we will call our NPC, or we can even put, um, I'm just going to call it DIAG. And now I will open this. Now inside here, first thing we need is a skeletal mesh, which will be your NPC, whichever one it is. Now in my example, the character I use is OWEN, and I got this from the um from the start um from, it was available by the Epic Games. I believe it was in the um in the content examples from the learn tab. Now once I had this character, I um I set I went down to the um, event graph and I did um, so event begin play and I did play animation on the skeletal mesh and down here I just typed down jumping jacks which is uh, the trails one which is uh, what you guys can see it does in the um, and then I just made a loop together. Next thing we need in here we need a box collision so a box collision down here we'll add that now the box collision um i you have to make sure it, it covers your character so when you walk up to it or when the player would walk up to it he would hit it so i kind of made it um so it only kind of covers the front area not too much around the back so something like this now once you've done this we can head back to our event graph now we'll do with the box selected, we'll do on overlap. So first there would be on actor or add on component begin overlap and then we'll do on end overlap. Should be event. Make sure the box is selected again. Then we'll do on end overlap. So when the overlapping has ended, the next thing we need in here is we'll add a text render and this text will be press F to talk or in interact or um, whichever one and I will rotate this 90 degrees on the Z axis so it's facing the same way as my character I'll move, I'll move this a bit in the front So once we have done this, we will go to our event graph again. So when the player um, overlaps the box, we want to set visibility for the text render and we want it to become visible. And we can just copy and paste this down here. And when he ends overlap, we want to set visibility to not visible. Then we want to disable inputs. When the character leaves, and we want to enable input when the character enters and we'll do right click and get player controller and we'll connect this player controller down here so this forms for our um, basic startup so now if you were to compile this and if you were to drag out our NPC down here now if I click play, um, of course one more thing before we do that is inside our blueprint we want to make sure our text render is set to not visible to start off with. Now if you click play, the moment we walk in to the um, box we have this option, uh, press F to play. But right now we haven't set up anything so our next step is to set up a widget blueprint. Now, so we'll just right click here, we'll go to user interface and we'll do 
widget blueprint. And we can call this uh, whatever you like. I can call this NPC, chat, whatever. So once I've called it this, I'm going to double click and open this. Now inside here, we'll um, first of all, what we'll do is we'll bring in a um, a button on top about here and a text inside it down here. So once we've done this, next thing we need is we'll bring down a vertical box. So this vertical box will drag onto the um, canvas panel. Then we'll just copy, so Control c the button, click on the vertical box and paste three times. So it's down here. Now we'll select the vertical box, we'll Control c and we'll paste two times. So now we will select the first vertical box, we'll make sure it's a variable and we'll call this options1. Second one we will call options2. We'll also make sure this is a variable. Third one we will call options3. And again, make sure it's a variable. Now we'll select the options1. We'll make this a bit bigger, all the way across here. And we'll drag this down about here. And the text we had, we'll just drag this. So not this, uh, the person we had. We'll drag that just, just above it around here and we'll make this somewhere around this size and then we will uh, select the first button and we will go to the color and opacity and I'm going to make the color black sorry not for the text the text remains white the background color I'll make this black and the opacity I'll change the alpha channel I'll change this about 0.8 so it has a bit of um, transparency to it and then we'll select all the rest of the buttons in option 3 as well so again for this we'll do um, the background color to but for this we'll do about 0.6 and again we'll change the color to black now once we have done this we can add text to our first one so this is a text that will keep changing, so this is uh, what the AI will respond to us every single time. So for this one, what we can do is we can do maybe, um, say, or we'll just do the same one that I did in the example. So, wonderful day. We're jumping decks. And we'll make sure that this is also a variable. Uh, we can actually copy and paste this down in the text as well so in the text box we'll just copy and paste that down here or actually um, the name for this I'll call this main so we know that this is the answer that the um, guy gives us and then for each of the text we can choose something we like so for the first text we could, we could choose something like one. I'm going to keep this quite short, but you guys can obviously choose the questions and the answers um, that you guys want to. So one down here, two, and three in the text. Down here we'll do four. five and six and then for the last one we'll just do seven eight and nine seven eight and nine now we can select our options three as well we can make this bigger so just this size and we just need to take it at exactly the same place as our um, older ones we need to make sure that the visibility is hidden for the options 3 and same thing with options 2, we'll make this bigger and we'll just drag this down around here and this one will also make sure it's set to hidden um, as default so now once we've done all the options, I'm just going to name the buttons quickly so I'll just name them um, B1, B2, just so we know 
as uh, when we go over to our graph so we know how we can um, access them. So once we have done this, we can now head over to our graph. Now inside a graph, what we need to do is, so for our buttons, we'll do when the first button is pressed, we want something to happen. And that could be anything, that could be, um, so let's say one was like, hello, then you could say, um, also in the designer tab, you want to make sure your main is also a, a variable. So we can then drag this out here, get, and we'll do set text. And then in the widget option, choose set text. And now we can manually uh, change the text each time done here for the main thing. So let's say you said hi, then he would say in, re in response to you, hello, how are you? So hello, how are you? So that would be his response. And once we have pressed the button one, what we want to then do is we want to set visibility. So first we'll do hidden and secondly we'll do visible. So we want our options 1 in that case to become hidden and our option 2 to become visible. Now once we have done this the next thing we'll do is then if the button 2 is pressed he will perhaps res uh, respond differently than the first one. So now we can just copy and paste this thing down here. And we can type the text, let's say the next one is um next 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 one is maybe what are you doing? Um let's say our question to you was what are you doing? He would say I am maybe exercising. Can't you see? And then if button three was pressed, let's say it's down here. So button three will do on clicks. So when button 3 is pressed, perhaps what we want to do is, again, we copy and paste this. So now he would say, maybe let's say button 3 was um, goodbye or something, I don't know, like after you have actually um, in interacted with him first. Then he would say, good day or something. Okay, so this is the basic thing. Now, of course, you guys could, um, for each and every single button, you guys could add more and more and just um, get them to branch. But what you need to basically do between each of the um, options is when you want to change between the menus, you want to set visibility of them. So in this case, when, the, when this button is pressed in options 2, what we want to do is we want to make the options 2 hidden and we want to make the options 3 visible. So in this case we'll just connect that here and that's pretty much it so now let's go back to our um, NPC graph so now we want to press F here and type input and we'll bring in an F key so when the F key is pressed we'll create a widget the widget we have just made and we'll find the widget that we just made which is NPC chat we will do add to viewport the target will be itself. Then we'll do set show mouse cursor. You want, might want to uncheck the context sensitive to get that. And the target again would be the player controller. And then compile. And now we can play. So now when we go up to our NPC down here, we press F. So let me just get this out of the way quickly. So when we go to our NPC down here, We press F and we get these three options. So say the first thing was hi, he says hello, how are you? Then when you press this one, um it will just go to the next thing. Uh the um whatever answer. So you guys can have as many branches um as you want of these and you can obviously copy and paste the, the actual uh, widget blueprint to share between different characters by just changing the text. But let's say if we were to say to him, um So one more thing that's really important is inside the graph for our thing. So let's say this one was, okay, I'm leaving by, then you would do remove from parents.
and the target for this uh, removal would be the widget itself and then maybe you could do um, disable input as well if, uh, if you wanted to so now if you go back and so now our button 3 should get us to be able to um, just leave um, finish the conversation basically since we have said um, goodbye to him if you go to him we press 3 and that's it what we could also do is uh, we could add, we might want to add a delay actually between this so delay and we'll do this about two seconds so we get to see when he says goodbye to us so now we go up to the NPC we press F press 3 he says good day and that's it now we can just start moving around again so now that we have covered the basics of um, how uh, you guys can go about making your own thing using uh, just widget blueprints and a text that can be constantly changed, what we can now do is um, I'll show you guys the um, original one and how I went about doing that one. So I'll show you both the blueprint and the um, designer tab. So the uh, designer tab is pretty much the same. The only difference is um, the text that I have written, so answers, the answers that we can give down here. So answer 1, answer 2, answer 3, which are all different, except the last one, which is, uh, so um, I'm giving the player the option to be able to leave whenever he likes during the um, conversation. So he doesn't have to actually um, stick around the, um, to finish the conversation. Then I have split it up into three things. So first interaction is when you, uh, when he says great day for um, the um, um, jumping jacks, and then you would say, um, you would say if if you were to say uh, like, um, of course it is. Then he would offer you uh, if you would like to join him in doing the um, jumping jacks. Now, if you were to press the first button, if you were to say yes, then you would set the visibility for the options too. And down here, what I'm doing is I'm just playing the um, jumping jacks animation on our um, on our character, and then he taunts us to try and and keep up. And then, but if you were to say that no, thank you, or that you have to go, he would say very well, good day. And then, the last thing is, if you were to say I have to go, he would just say good day to you. And then you just want to uh, remove from parent, and you want to make sure your mouse cursor is no longer being shown down there. Which you could be sh uh, you could also do down here. So you could do um, set show mouse cursor. So once you leave the conversation, you can just leave the un um, unchecked, and the target for that again would be your get player controller. It would be this. So and then so this is uh, pretty much it. This is uh, what I wanted to. to um, show you guys so the main text that changes that uh, um, the main text that you can easily change is the is the answer that he gives you every single time so you can update that with just a simple note but for these I am using um, different menus and now if I just um, one more time if I just click play and show you guys what the actual um, conversation is that takes place between our player and the uh, NPC is if you press F here he says wonderful day for jumping jacks in fact what I'll do is I'll put this on the side as well so you guys can kind of roughly see what's going on here so now if you were to press the first one this node fires off and um, not this one so this node fires off and then he says great then would you like to join me now if you were to say of course then this node would fire off so now as we said of course this node's fired off and now we are playing the animation of the jumping jabs. Now, if you say, I could keep up all day, he would say, um, so seems you are in good shape. If you say, I'm tired, we must stop. What that's going to cause to do is he's going to say, you should work on your health. And then after two seconds, I'm deleting the uh, widget blueprint and we're setting the mouse cursor. So it's, it's no longer shown. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you guys found this um, somewhat useful. This was indeed a um, requested tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.